This is a test announcement, not a real announcement. fees may be spent on administrative bonuses. You're, uh, you're, <clears throat> sorry, you're listening to Campus Radio. I'm Maggie Watmore, and I didn't realise I was hosting today's show until five minutes ago. It's OK. I'm sure we'll be fine. I haven't done a show without my notes before, but that doesn't bother me at all. Janet are needed in dormitory.
administrator is reminded to stay hydrated. This next story is about a shed, apparently. That's all I've got. Here to tell us more is Hugh. That's right, the groundskeeper's shed appears to have moved some two to three metres overnight. Of course, as an inanimate object, the sudden move has come as somewhat of a shock. One member of the custodial staff described the event as probably the strangest thing to happen in the greater Flemington area. Leading theories range from haunted wood to tectonic shifting, but one fraternity is claiming responsibility for the anomaly. Their spokesperson saying, we just moved it, it wasn't that heavy, we can move it back if you like. Maggie, back to you. Students are reminded to have the time of their lives.
Students are reminded that some grades are personal. Should you study with a friend or should you ignore them at all costs? We've all asked that question. Here's Wanda with the answer. Last week, I advised you to try studying in pairs, and it seemed like a good idea. Turn time with a book into time with a friend. A no-brainer, right? Wrong, I'm afraid. My roommate made up a mnemonic device for something on my course, but it was so effective that I can't remember what it stands for. All I have left is decorate my salamanders nightly. And what's that? Sorry, Jesse. Back to studying alone. Shame. Students are reminded to be in two places at once. Distracted students should pretend that they're listening. New from Smell My Cash. <laughs> Being a student is hard enough. Hey. <laughs> the least we could do is give you loads of money. Smell My Cash for students. Yeah. Sure, you have to pay it back, but that's future use problem. <laughs> Research project complete. Aren't you clever?
Atlas is expanding, even more than usual. it from us at Campus Radio. Though my day isn't entirely over, I'm heading to the library to finish and start an essay and I may be there all night, but I'll be back tomorrow morning for another show. Hopefully I don't fall asleep in the archive section again. Wish me luck. Students are reminded to set reminders. <laughs>
was talking on campus. Thank you. The Harrison Wolf Show, baby. All right. Oh. This is Harrison Wolf bringing you the Harrison Wolf Power Hour. I've been seeing a lot of stuff about colleges lately. Lots of study here, learn so and so, qualification this and qualification that. But let me tell you something they don't want you to know. It's a scam. All of it. Frequently asked questions. No, you can't have an extension.
sandwiches will be eaten by me. been quizzed at school but what really happens during a test you get a question you write down your answer and then some bozo tells you that you're wrong but who's to say they're right what's so great about their answers if we've all got the same answers then what's the point of there being so many of us huh i tell you it's a crime that they make kids take their tests not a real criminal kind of crime of course but it's majorly uncool, and that's the kind of crime. If it's not on your CV, it didn't happen. Not to me. I shouldn't have to tell you, but if Jumbo McNally's getting involved in something, you know it's bad. Jumbo University? <laughs> what a racket. You can teach Mr. McNally a lesson by signing my petition to have him fired into space. Students are reminded to find themselves.
project complete. Aren't you clever? Security breach. Please change your passwords. Sorry. At Jumbo, we know it's our employees that are the big deal. That's why they get the Jumbo treatment. Mobile stationery, toilet substitute, sip of milk, leg rooms, dental surgeries, additional headrest, Ooh. and our famous data system analysis training program system. Or for dab stabs. I'm Jumbo McNally, and I wish I worked here. Hitting the box doesn't mean what you think it means. Education is non-refundable. that you... Oh, sorry, that's mine.
You ever thought about why they're so keen to teach us to read? Think about it. So we can read what they write. <laughs> well, it makes so much sense when you think about it. It's just another way for them to control us. That's why I only trust the Daily Disorder for my news. They take the regular news and turn every word into an anagram, breaking down the code. You can't understand a thing. It's perfect. Janitor to fix Super Chef, I think I got into radio because of some fancy piece of paper. No, sir. Radio is pure jazz, man. It's alive and unpredictable. You can't just learn it. Sure, you could pay some big shot to tell you which buttons to press and when, and that's fine. But that's not radio. Not really. Here's another previously scheduled song that I didn't choose.
degrees are expensive and education is priceless. Here's a question from Kevin and Flottering. Hey Harrison, what was your favorite project in school? Well, it's a good question, and you gotta remember, just because education is a scam doesn't mean all those teachers are bad people. So, to answer your question, I used to like making the little volcano. It's pretty trippy to learn that volcanoes are full of vinegar, right? But how do we collect it safely? I don't know. But that's what they ought to be teaching us, man. Are in. Wow, didn't we do well? 
I never went to college. At least, I don't remember going to college. Anyway, I turned out just fine. Join me at the same time tomorrow, when the day sun goes bye-bye and the spooky white beach ball casts down its dark favor on us all. Good night.
university gives you a bright future and clouds it with debt. is not a belief system. I'm Maggie Watmore, remembering to breathe on Campus Radio. Are you ever reading or poaching an egg or something and you realise that you've not taken a breath in a while? Oh, I did it again. Let's all try... Focus on our breathing during this next song. will make you look stupid.
If you're anything like me, you're wondering why everyone is talking about cheesy gubbins. Thankfully, Hugh has the story. Yes, the popular snack, Cheesy Gubbins, have brought campus life to a standstill with their Golden Gubbin promotion. The company has said that there are six of the solid gold gubbins to be found in promotional packages. Only one such crisp has been found so far, though the lucky student is with the nurse after swallowing it. Something of a crowd has formed outside the health centre, where they eagerly await for a first look at the opulent puff. Hard work, babe. 